Hello Aquarius, welcome back. Welcome to my channel if you're new. I'd like to thank everyone for viewing, liking, sharing, and subscribing. Please don't forget to hit the thumbs up on your way out. <clears throat> Excuse me, as it does help my channel, yes, but more importantly, it helps other Aquarians that need the messages because it circulates the video. I want to remind everyone it is a general reading. It's definitely going to completely resonate for some of you, but not all of you. Those of you that it doesn't completely resonate for, please take the messages that do resonate. Those are yours. Leave the rest behind, okay? I want to thank everyone who's been purchasing my, uh, my decks that I've created. I really appreciate the support. I also would really like to thank everybody that's been donating to my channel lately. You have no idea what that means to me. So thank you so much, everybody. And I want to thank all my viewers that view... But I also want to thank the ones that comment. I do read all the comments. You guys have got to be the best viewers of all the YouTube channels. I swear, your comments are so, they're so loving and so uplifting. And you guys even try to lift and raise other commenters that are having a bad day. You guys are amazing. Thank you so much. Okay. This is whatever comes out is what comes out. It's going to be a love reading. So it's likely for singles. Okay, not a guarantee, but it's more than likely going to be for singles. It's going to be whatever you need to hear right now as far as relationships go. Okay. Um, I think that's it. The decks are all going to be listed below as usual. The link to any extendeds, if you have an extended, if I don't feel you need one, I'm not going to do one. But if there is one, uh, the link is down below with the deck listing. We're going to start off with Guardian Angel Messages Tarot Deck. Your first card is the Six of Earth or Six of Pentacles. This is Charity, Generosity, and Windfall. Ooh, you might have a windfall here. Some of you may win the lottery. Maybe you've got an inheritance coming in. This is a love reading, though, so... Not necessarily a windfall. Could be a windfall of love. You could have several people coming at you at one time. And I just looked at the clock and it's 550, which means 55. Big changes. Some of you are going to have some big changes in your life coming up here, financially and otherwise. But the Six of Pentacles is all about balance it's about give and take it's about reciprocity okay so what you put out is what's coming back your second card is awakening pause perspective selflessness some of you are going through an awakening and you know i know i'm not an aquarius i'm a virgo but i definitely have been going through an awakening i have had tower moment after tower moment and you know, the best way to get through those is to look at them from an angle of that needed to go so room could be made for the, the better things that are coming in because otherwise they really have a way of pulling you under. But the, the awakening is all about having that different perspective, seeing things from a different light. Because this guy, look at him, he's like the hanged man in this deck, right? Wise counselor, belonging, learning, and traditions. This is the Hierophant. This is all about conformity. Maybe you're having to let go of um, the need to conform if some of you are, are conforming doing you know what what everyone else thinks you should be doing now we are going to get other cards on those obviously and that's going to help us understand better exactly what the messages are okay this is uh the light seers holographic deck oh that is nasty Okay. 
Is this our card? Yes, but it's in the second position. Okay, so um, on top of the Six of Pentacles and Awakening, you have the King of Pentacles. Nice. Okay, so this could be a person for you. This could be your person, male or female. It's just masculine energy, okay? This would be a Virgo, Taurus, or Capricorn. But if it's just the energy, this guy, he is like King Midas. Everything he touches turns to gold. Look at him. Look at how content he is. It's like he's got so much money that it just sits with him. You know what I mean? Like his dog. Keeping him company. All of his pentacles. And it's on the six of pentacles and awakening. So I feel like for some of you there is something happening here that like this snaps you into a new... Um, uh, a new they're giving me the word dimension but that's not the word I really want to use because a lot of you are going to roll your eyes at that and click off look at it as there's a shift happening that's placing you where you can see things from a better angle a better perspective because I have a feeling that you're going to start finding in your life that things are working it's like I can't do anything wrong. Things keep going right. And you're coming from a place where things just kept going wrong. But this is, I don't know if you've watched my previous video on this being a pinnacle year, but this has to do with the fact that it is a pinnacle year. You're going to keep being rewarded throughout the year. And this looks like it's going to be one of your rewards. Yeah, because look at awakening and wise counselor. This is why this card had to go in the second place. The High Priestess, you are up leveling to such a high place. Oh my goodness. <clears throat> but I also want to point out the Hierophant. <laughs> this is also the High Priest, which is the counterpart to the High Priestess. So you are likely coming into alignment with your your soulmate your very special soulmate your twin flame soulmate if you want to call it that and it's this awakening this awakening is raising you to a really high level here so not only are you going to be advanced in in the intuitive side of living you also are going to be advanced financially you guys are going to start having things work out so often that you just you just shake in your head you can't believe it because that's not how it's gone beforehand you know what i just realized i didn't take the bottom of the deck for the first uh, deck we used here strength this is part of your overall energy okay and this is courage compassion and perseverance but that that I think that's what's being rewarded here is the strength and the courage that you've had to move forward through all the rough times. And that's why you're about to have all these good times. So bottom of this deck now. Yeah, look at that. Five of Wands. I want to, I'm going to put this down, but I want to point out something in this deck with the Five of Wands. Look at this guy here. He's reaching for this, this flame, this I don't even know what to call it. It's just a big flame. But everybody's going after it. Everybody's competing for that. And he is the higher up. But I want you to pay attention to what they're all standing on. These are all loose wands. One wrong move. And it all comes tumbling down. Right? That's where you come from. That's what I was just talking about. You come from a place where usually things don't work out the way you want them to. And so now you're finding yourself in this place where everything seems to be working out the way you want it to. And you're just standing back with your mouth open, chin on your chest, shaking your head, going, what the hell is happening here? This is where you're headed. And I just looked at the timer on the camera and it was 9.55. Again with the 55 for you guys. You've got big changes coming in. Huge. Okay, where are we going now, angels? I am so excited for you guys. This feels amazing. Okay, surrender. What do you need to surrender? 
to have this, okay? Because you do know that you have to make room for what's coming in. You can't just keep getting and getting and getting and getting. You become like a hoarder. Eventually, you got to get rid of stuff. So let's see. And it could be energetic. It could be emotional. So, so let's see what it is that you have to surrender in order to get to this place here. Okay, now this is um, the power of surrender, oracle cards. Oh, surrender comparisons with other people. Interesting. That goes with the wise counselor or the hierophant because that is all about conforming. It's about doing what others are doing and it's because you want to compare yourself. So that's what this is. Keep your eyes trained on yourself. Focus on your own strengths, attractiveness, and power. Yeah, this definitely goes with the Hierophant. Because he's all about tradition and conforming and being and doing what others are doing and what everybody thinks everybody should be doing. Um, okay, this is one of my decks, if you're wondering. When I talked earlier about my decks... Um, it's called Synchronicity Oracle. It's listed below as well if you're interested. Ah, you are at a crossroads, Aquarius, or you are about to be. Uh, I need to go back to this card. I'm being taken back to the word attractiveness here. Uh, you do have somebody coming in. Obviously, you've got the high priest and the high priestess. So you have somebody <laughs> top shelf on their way into you. Okay, this is going to be your absolute person. Some of you need to surrender the need, and this is comparison, okay, but the need to be better than you are to be wanted by this person, to be attractive to this person, okay? And this is comparing with other people, thinking, well, I'm not as pretty as that girl, or I'm not as attractive as that guy, so why would they go for me when they could have that person? You got to stop that, Aquarius, because it's not about your looks. It's not about any of that. It's about souls coming together, souls that know each other already and already love each other. They don't care what the meat suit looks like. It's about what's on the inside, okay? So anyways, getting back to this, you're at a crossroads, or you soon will be at a crossroads. You're going to have a decision to make here. I feel like um, I need more information on this one. We're going to clarify that. So just give me a second here. I am going to get the other Light Seer's deck. I'm going to clarify the Crossroads card for Aquarius Angels, please and thank you. your overall energy five of wands going after see now again look at this comparisons going after what everyone else is going after wanting the same things that everybody else wants that's the hierophant that's the surrendering comparisons you've got to let go of that be unique you are unique and there's nothing wrong with that so here's your crossroads. I asked in my mind, I asked the angels to give me two cards. One would be one direction in the crossroads. The other one would be the other direction. And here you go. You're at a crossroads. You can choose your soulmate 
or you can choose to go after what everyone else thinks you should go after or wants you to go after. Again, this is going to have to come down to what's best for you, Aquarius. This isn't about what the rest of the world thinks or what the rest of the world is doing or how the rest of the world figures things out. This has got to be for you. What is best for Aquarius? And then go down that path because that'll be the right path for you. Yeah, bottom of this deck, look at that, the world. It's about you letting go and closing off one old cycle, one old way of being and thinking so you can start that new one. Go down that fresh path with your twin. Okay, I am going to leave this out for you. I'm going to put this, I'll just put it right here. Okay, now we're going to get a card from my other deck. This is Just Ask Oracle. Ooh. Almost lost the whole deck. Ooh. Okay, so if you've had a question that you've been asking and you want an answer, yes or no answer, this is for some of you, not all of you, okay? It's no. And that's a definite no with that exclamation mark. But I want to point out that it's on this side of the spread. Now, what it falls in underneath, obviously it's attached to surrender comparisons, right? But what it's underneath is the high priestess and the high priest or the hierophant. You're going to know. You don't need to ask that question anymore because what I'm hearing is when you go through this awakening and you get up leveled into this sphere of uh, psychic and intuitive capabilities, you are going to know the answer. And it's it's a big no, but don't let it pull you under right now by seeing it because when you reach this place, it's not going to bother you because you're going to be the person going, whoa, 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 no, I don't want that or no, I'm not going that direction. It's not going to be a hit to you, okay? Like it might be right now, so just let it go. Okay, what else are we getting here, angels? Oh, okay, Island Time Wellness. date meeting someone new dating get back out there plan and set a date interesting so some of you this is with your person if you know them if you know who they are others of you this is just get out there because your twin is on their way to you they're not going to find you if you're hold up in your apartment or your house all day every day right okay um i want to get a message where is that deck i found the deck this is manifest soulmate oracle cards so this is basically a message to you from or about your soulmate okay oops oh come on <clears throat> Try to be a rainbow in someone else's cloud. I like that. I really like that. That's beautiful. While you're trying to be a rainbow in someone else's cloud, you're not so focused on the stuff in your own life. You're not focused so much on the negative that's in your life or the things that <clears throat> are bothering you or the things that you want that you realize you don't have because you're too busy trying to help someone else cheer up, right? Aquarius, surrender the comparisons. You are good enough. You have a twin flame coming in. 
you're going through an awakening that's going to raise you to a place of <laughs> incredible psychic and intuitive abilities. Don't fight for what everyone else is fighting for. Go off in your own direction. Go after your soulmate, the person that you want, not who everybody else thinks you should have. Get back out there. Have the strength and the courage to move past this need to be like everyone else or better than everyone else, better looking, better at singing, better at acting, better at whatever it is that you think everybody else is better than you at. Now, not all of you are having that issue, but I'm thinking there's a pretty good number of you that do the comparison thing. I think we all do it to some degree. Now, I want to get you one more card, okay? And then we're going to close this up. I want to get you, uh, it's called Soul Coaching Oracle Card Deck. And it is what your soul wants you to know at this point in time, okay? So let's see what your soul, we now get the message from your soulmate. Let's see what your soul wants to tell you. strength. I have deep inner strength and glorious vitality. Yes, you do. That's what's going to get you through all of this, Aquarius. That strength. Close out this cycle, this old pattern of thinking you're not good enough or you need to be better in some way because you are perfect just as you are. Okay, that's all I've got. You don't need an extended. This is pretty straightforward here. Um, I hope it resonates. I hope it helps. I love you guys, and I will see you next time.